know she's on your side. Better call Bacon. A Brandon woman is fighting to get her phone number back. Jean Encinosa has had the same number for 47 years, and then on January 2nd, out of nowhere, she woke up to no dial tone. Her number had been transferred to somebody else's phone. She was told nothing could be done, and that's when she knew, wait a minute, better call Bankin. Eight on your side investigator Shannon Bankin joins me now. I've never even heard of this happening. I hadn't either, and I was really puzzled when she called me trying to figure out what had happened here. We thought it was a mistake, but her phone carrier Frontier tells me that this could be a sign of identity theft. I've been outraged. For 47 years, Jean Encinosa has had the same phone number. When she's moved, she's taken her phone number with her. But on January 2nd, she found out that her number is no longer hers. I picked up my uh, phone to call my son. No line. No line. Nothing. Her carrier, Frontier, fixed her service. But she ended up with a new phone number. And I just want my old phone number that I've had since 1972. Jean says she pleaded to get her old number back, but was told it had been transferred to another carrier, and she'd have to go through that company. They said, we can't do anything about that. And I said, but I didn't give you permission to give that number away. Changing numbers would mean a big headache. So that means I got to call the dentist, my primary care, uh, my surgeons. A better solution? Better call Bankin. While Jean and I spoke, Frontier returned my call. Uh, it's Frontier calling. Let's see what they have to say. Oh. This is Shannon. Frontier spokesman Bob Ellick explained that the number had been illegally transferred. So how could they port a number that someone else is using? Ellick says the illegal transfer is something called slamming and said Gene could be the victim of identity theft. He says the company followed FCC rules and did nothing wrong. But after my calls, they're working to get Gene's number back. Frontier tells me that some identity thieves transfer the phone numbers of victims to help them steal their victim's identity. So super scary. Went from a headache to now very worried. So it may almost be what a scammer would do on the front end to then try to manipulate more of her information. Right. Well, so what's going to happen at this point? Does she you know, move forward? Why is it so easy to get someone else's number? What, I mean, yeah. where are we left well, here? Well, Frontier is working on this. We're going to continue to work this story, and we're actually looking into the slamming because it could happen to any of us. But Frontier says that they do offer something you can put a freeze on your account, but they said that they followed FCC guidelines because if they try to question that, it could be deemed that they're interfering with a competitor's business. It doesn't seem quite right to me, though, that it would be no. that easy to steal someone's phone number. It could happen to any of us tonight well, yeah. while we sleep. Right. That's why, yeah, mm -hmm. you're going to have to stay on this one we because are. this is a little scary. It is. All right. Thanks, mm -hmm. Shannon. If you have a problem that needs solving, better call Bankin. That number, 1-855-BANKIN.